Hey there, this is Terry with YarCoach.com. Welcome to Tuesdays with Terry. It's a little bit of a different world we're living in today because it's 2020 in March and we're going through all kind of coronavirus upheaval. Of course, sympathies go out to those directly and indirectly dealing with this, but for all of us, our lives have changed. We're home for the most part. School's out. We don't get out much. I've been seeing things on Facebook, posts about being bored, or posts about, you know, kids driving me crazy, all that kind of stuff. So what I've learned in life for the most part, personally, is you can do what you can do, you can't do what you can't do, right? So for so long, I spent a lot of time trying to do what I couldn't do in other people's lives, which is change their behaviors. <laughs> I mean, for so many years, I thought, oh, I'll just tell them what will be helpful. I'll just tell them what they need to do. Yeah, we all know how that works because until we ourselves decide we need change and we need a dip, something different, then all that other stuff doesn't really matter. So here's what I do. I coach people around adolescent behaviors, the behaviors of their teenagers and sometimes younger children. And I do that based on the life stages of development as pos posited by Eric Erickson years ago. Okay, there's a lot of history. You, you know my story. If you don't, go on yarcoach.com. You'll get all kinds of information. But, but for this moment in time, the other thing that I do is help people declutter. It's because for a lot of reasons, one of which had to do with many years ago, I was sitting in my big two-story house, six-bedroom house, and I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking about, but the thought struck me. I'm sitting in this house. My kids are all away at college or either off on their own. There are two of us living here. We have a double car garage, one side of which is very neatly organized with floor-to-ceiling shelves. There's also a closet in our garage, which is very neatly organized. There's also a double-decker shed out in our backyard with all kinds of cool, nice things, very neatly organized. Also a smaller shed, a metal one, with garden tools and all this stuff. And I'm thinking, I'm pay. oh, 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 and two storage units. One was a big one and one was a 10 by 10 because of my in-laws had moved and we got a bunch of stuff from them. And I'm thinking, I'm working full time every day, going to work, loving it. But I'm paying for this big house, heat, cool, rooms I don't need anymore. I'm paying people to come and clean this house because I don't really have the time to clean it like I want it to look. And I'm paying for all this storage space. So why am I doing that? And I remember there's something clicked in me that went against everything that I had been taught to do, which was to accumulate. You know, the bigger house, the more cars, all that meant success. It's like, it reminds me of Viktor Frankl, you know, the, the psychologist who, uh, who survived the Holocaust and the death of most of his family members and went on to make a great impact in the world about meaning and purpose. And he said, he said something like the, the biggest falsehood or things that people go toward is wealth as a, as a sense of purpose or having meaning or proof that you were somebody. And I often wonder if you buy the big hot ride car and nobody is there to see you drive it or are you still a big shot or whatever we're trying to be by accumulating things but 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 we're taught that we're taught that the more you have the better off you are and what I'm finding in my life for the last decade or more is the exact opposite is true in fact there's an old proverb that says more than we need is poison more than we actually need can poison us our spirits our lives so, two things that I do are behavior management workshops <laughs> and decluttering workshops. So, what I can't do is come to you and solve all your problems and make everything better. I can't do that. Um, can't hardly do that for me. Uh, in moments I can. But what I can do is share with you what I know. I'm kind of old. Um, and I've learned a lot of things that seem to help many people, including my own kids, which I'm grateful for, because much of it I learned on them or through them, or they were my sort of catalyst to growing up, which is why I use the developmental stages of life to talk about adolescence and 
that kind of thing because we're all in some sort of developmental stage and you can find out more about that through a couple of books I've written or just anything you want to know or if you're interested at yarcoach.com. However, I'm here on this day, this Tuesday with Terry, to tell you that I was inspired by a recent article I saw about um, 50 things that you don't need and how to get rid of them. And so what I'm going to do is post on Facebook Live every morning on Yar Coach's Facebook um, one thing that you can do with your kids, without your kids, in your life to help get rid of the mess or the clutter. Because here's what I, what I discovered. Most parents or teachers, mostly parents that I worked with, were in a state of overwhelm when they came to me. You can imagine, if you need a parenting coach, you're like overwhelmed, I don't know what I'm doing here. Which I think is kudos to them. People who go outside of themselves are always get a gold star from me um, to get help for the people they love the most. But the overwhelm is often, I don't know if it's a causation, but there's a correlation between being overwhelmed and having too much stuff. And when you have kids, you have to have stuff. You have to have winter clothes and summer clothes and, you know, just different things. So um, how do to manage those things? So what I'm going to do on Facebook Live, which will be a test for me because uh, Mary Ann Silvestri, who is a wonderful teacher that I've worked with and who's taken a college course from me on behavior management in the classroom years and years ago, helped me see that it was time for me to step out of the classroom because I'm not and because I'm watching her teach, and she's, of course, full of great information and goodwill with her students, but she also was really good with technology, which to me was all new. I didn't quite grow up in the video age, so my kids and grandkids still help me with that sort of thing, and I'm not real interested in it. If I was interested in it, I think I could be better at it, but I don't really care too much about it, except as it helps me do what I think I need to do in the world and at home. So... Marianne's teaching with pulling the smart board out and the projector and doing all these things that way back in the day were so new to me and to everyone. And she had a handle on it. And I'm watching her teach going, this is so effective. She, she uses these things so effectively. And I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I can do that. I was the behavior resource specialist at her school at that time, so I wasn't actually in the classroom. But I thought, yeah, it's time for me to not fool with all that kind of stuff. And I let these younger, better minds or people my age who are really interested in it and really savvy with technology and good at it. It made me realize that's not my thing. Why do I say that to you today? Because I'm going to be on Facebook Live for the first time. I don't know how to go, but we're going to do it. Every, for 50 days, I'm going to post one thing that you and your kids can work on. And I'll encourage you through it. You'll be able to post uh, if you need help and it'll just be fun. I miss uh, human connection. I love being at home and I have the good great fortune to be at home with people I love. My kids are out there. My grandkids are out there. I see them through technology every day so I'm very grateful about that. But um, if you'd like to I'm inviting you to join us, and I'm inviting you to invite other people. This video today is a really long Tuesdays with Terry. I'm normally about brevity because the people I deal with have jobs and kids and stuff like that. But right now we're home, and there are things we can do. And I'm so happy to encourage you and help you through that. And the only reason I'm doing that is to lighten your load. And, and I'm good at that. It's, it's what I can offer. I can't do a lot of things, but this is what I can do. So I hope you'll join me for the next 50 days on Facebook at Yar Coach. And meanwhile, you can contact me at yarcoach.com if you'd like. Take good care. Love to you all. Bye-bye.